हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन टूडेज एंड अपकमिंग सेशन आई विल वॉक यू थ्रू द मरमेड अ फ्लो चार्ट एंड डायग्राम विजुअलाइजेशन टूल लेट गेट स्टार्टेड डू यू रिमेंबर दिस या यू गेस करेक्ट दिस इज द बेसिक सी प्रोग्रामिंग फ्लो चार्ट डोंट वरी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आ सी प्रोग्रामिंग लेक्चर A flowchart is a picture that help you to visualize all type of process workflow in a project. While designing and planning a project, flowchart can help you to identify its essential steps and simultaneously offer the bigger picture of the project. It organizes the task in chronological order and help you to identify the crucial steps of a project. a lot of time we don't have much tools to create a flow chart for our project so we mostly end up by using microsoft office tools to create one for our project but it is time consuming and also have limited tools to create one that needed in our project sometime we need more complicated flow chart which are actually present as a font on the microsoft office that's mermaid give us a flexibility to do so mermaid is a flow chart and diagram visualization tool based on javascript and use syntax inspired by markdown in order to create and dynamically modify flow charts now the question is why mermaid because it is easy to use and save lot of time of the development apart from that it is open source mermaid let you simplify the documentation and help you to explain your code logic via charts let's jump to the online editor this is the mermaid online editor where you can simply generate the flow chart i put the link in the description let me quickly walk you through the interface This is your code section where you design the flow chart. On right hand side there is a output screen where changes is reflected. On sample diagram section contain different type of flow charts where you can take help to create your own. Another important section is action where you can download the flow chart in various formats. Now let us start with basic overview. You can generate multiple kind of flow charts like graphs, sequence diagram, state charts, pie charts, ER diagram, etc which we will look one by one in upcoming videos. Let understand the sample flow chart first. To define the flow chart type flow chart and then put the graph orientation like lr for left to right orientation of graph i will explain it in a bit now you all know that graph is all about the node so let's define a node once we created a node you look on the right hand side output view is created This node word is actually a variable name. You can put anything like any alphabet like a. You also put text inside the node. Just type the text inside the square bracket. To understand the orientation, create a small graph like Currently it is left to right orientation. Once you delete the LR, the default one is TB or TD, that is top to bottom or top down. Type RL for right to left orientation. TB for top to bottom orientation and BT for bottom to top orientation. 
Mermaid also provide a wide variety of node shapes that you directly use it in your graph. Like currently this is a rectangular shape of node that is a default one. To get the node with round edges type circular bracket type any word let's say a mermaid for a stadium shape node put the mermaid keyword in the square bracket first and then there is a outer circular bracket here you see the stadium shape node for the cylindrical shape node put the mermaid keyword in the circular bracket first and then there is a outer square bracket this is the most common symbol used for database view now for circle node put two circular bracket you can also create a asymmetric shape node type greater than symbol then text and then close square bracket for rhombus shape node put the keyword inside the curly bracket rhombus shape node also extended to a hexagonal shape node just put the text inside the two curly bracket for a parallelogram shape node put text inside the square bracket and then put forward slash before and after the text you can also get the mirror image of this parallelogram just by replacing the forward slash with backward slash just like a parallelogram you also create a trapezoid shape node like and for mirror image of trapezoid replace backward with forward slash and vice versa for double circle node put text inside the three circular bracket one thing important here is that there is no fixed context of a shape to be used to create a graph but it might depend on which context you are creating the flow chart now let's talk about link or edges link or edges is something that connect the nodes we already look a link with a arrow head to create type this is also consider as directional link another one is undirectional edges and for that we don't have an arrow head so just remove that and put dash instead it also have a dotted edges for that put a dot between dash like that it is also a undirected edge we can bold the edge as well for that we have to use equal to symbol instead of slash same we do with arrow head link we can also put the text in between edge to do so type equal to equal to any text like sample equal to equal to greater than symbol as you see sample text is put in between edge same we can do with thin edge as well another way of putting the text between edge is we first define the type of edge and then put the text between vertical bar or mod symbol like this same we can do with unidirectional and dotted line as well
there are also some new arrow types as well like it uses o instead of greater than symbol you can also put x instead of o this also belongs to directional edges let also explore some of the bidirectional edges put arrow head at both ends of the edge like this you can also replace o and x with arrow head to create a new type of bidirectional edges there is also some special symbol which is only present in state diagram like the start and stop symbol first remove all this let's create a small state diagram put a star symbol in between square bracket which signify start symbol this is a state diagram so we are using directional edges to show that create another stage let's say a moving stage now we move from start state to moving state to stop state for that create a stop state here you see it automatically consider star inside the square bracket as a stop state as we already define the start state we can also fill the node with any color to differentiate one node with another to do so get back our flow chart first type on the next line style node name let's say b fill colon and then color hex code let's say f9f for magenta color node b is filled with magenta color same we can do with node a as well we can also comment out some statement by using double percentage symbol type here you see the statement is commented and changes updated on right hand side as well i hope everything is clear till yet once we are done with flow chart we can easily download it just click on action click on png to save it in png format click on save and it's done open the flow chart that's great now you can simply use it in your project documentation and repo as well that's all from my side in next video we will create a graph flow chart for queries or any doubt please leave a comment below see you in next video till then happy learning